My name is Sammy Daps, a white private eye in Mumubuti, Africa. When millionaire Howard H. Fonsworth hired me to find a jungle queen, that's when it all started. Fonsworth seemed a little strange when he stepped into my office, but after he advanced me a good chunk of dough, I took the job. I left Vonsbury at the railroad station and started into the jungle to find a queen. A couple of days into my search, I came across this pygmy village. The chief dressed up in a six-button Benny looking like a cool fool in the water pool. Must have been no bigger than two foot six. In pygmies, I asked him. <laughs> The chief said he didn't know. He was lying. As I was about to leave, his bird sound cut through me like a slug of a 45. To find that bird meant to find the queen. I moved into the marshes with a jungle steam. Again, that bird sound whistled through. I was closer to the queen now that I knew. The pygmies frozen in terror started to dance to the katanga, cuckoo, cha cha. The bugs were biting me all over. The leeches were sucking my blood. Again I heard the sound of the bird down deep in the heart of the wood. I finally left the marshes and made it to some flatland. Now bitten and battered, my trench coat was tattered, my fedora was all in shreds. I stumbled through the jungle, trying not to take a tumble to find where that bird led. Then it happened. I saw this weird-looking bird. It flew round and round, very close to the ground, till it finally flew into itself. Too tired out to crawl about, I kept in mind the pygmy rhyme. It was now still. I pulled out my 45 and entered the hut. I held my rod tightly in my sweaty hands so no one could grab it. And there it was, the jungle queen. I had found the jungle queen. The queen mumbling something took my rod and wouldn't let go. I knew what the queen was trying to say. Loving you means never having to say you're sorry. All right, queen, drop my rod.